everyone today's video is going to be really quick so what I did based on the last video just uh, ended up removing the refrigerator there so you can see down here so ended up moving the refrigerator this is where the refrigerator goes slides in so on this right side here you see that right there that opening or oh, that hole that's one and then uh that's where one screw goes and then this is other screw on the right side that's two and then there's a screw hole right there so that's one and another one right there that's two so it's four screws that hold the refrigerator in back here there's a plug or a harness that um pretty much you have to disconnect prior to slide prior to pulling the refrigerator completely out so I went ahead and scrubbed everything like I did yesterday um, it's still drying right now but um, so like yesterday I went in I scraped everything I degreased everything wiped everything down and then I primered you know sanded it down and then primer so this is where the refrigerator goes so this floor is now oh, almost officially done right so did that section right there and then uh, that out there is the toolbox area I've uh, sanded that you know wiped it down I have to sand it still that's the passenger side so um, I did the driver side I primed it sanded it down as well uh, have to get that piece of uh, piece of it's probably dirt that was blown from the other side but this is the driver side so I did I sanded it down wiped it out primed it as well um, this is under here where the storage is so I'm gonna wait for everything to completely dry and then I'll go from there um so yeah today's video was fairly quick but it's literally just showing you how to take out that refrigerator it's four screws two on the left side two on the right side you undo that harness right there you slide the refrigerator completely out um so you have that I'm standing on the uh, standing on the I didn't let it completely dry yesterday before I got on it so it was still wet but um which is fine because by the time I end up installing the padding and all of that stuff it'll be dry but uh it's all been sanded it's all been sanded it's all been uh sanded clean prime and now I have to just wipe down like that duck take off that harness wipe the padding down and everything I'm probably gonna end up taking these speakers out as well and uh putting in new speakers there I ended up painting over here as well or sanding and priming over here as well sorry about that keep getting in your way but so I did that I'm not gonna take these panels out that panel right here because it's riveted in doesn't really make a whole lot of sense unless I just wanted to do it for some odd reason which I really don't so I'm gonna wipe that panel down spray a adhesion promoter and then I'm gonna paint it along with this panel right here do the same thing wipe it down spray adhesion promoter paint it and then uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it